Hi everyone, this is Dr. Hashgovitz. I'm here with Sunjun Park, and this is a Pipeline Authoring 17.4 kickoff video. Uh, as always, uh, we do have a planning issue underneath our Pipeline Authoring group, planning issue number 156. Um, to quickly go over the goals of the milestones, uh, we'll start with, uh, uh, with the catalog related issues. Um, so, as you probably are familiar, there is a big demand from our users about uh, visualizing where components are being used across their, uh, their projects, across their instance. And while this is a large undertaking, uh, we are working toward providing some sort of an MVC. And in this MVC, we are going to create a query, a GraphQL query, where users will need to uh, uh, specify the group ID of the components, uh, and then the group ID of uh, for scoping the components. And based on that, we are going to provide them with uh, the name of the component uh, and the project and the associate project that they are being used. We are going to send this as a raw data without any UI, without any uh, dashboarding. Dashboard will come later. But with this capability, users will be able to uh, to go over this data and do their own analysis using their own dashboarding tool. And this is something that this is this is an MVC for our users in order to give them some sort of a solution for this really really important and burning question, which I have to say coming up in almost every uh, uh, customer discussion that we have. And the second thing is about security and compliance workflows uh, for the CI CD catalog. And again, this we have here also a uh, quite extensive epic about some ideas that we need. First, we, some of them we need to validate, and some of them we need to uh, uh, we think about how to implement regarding different uh, uh, security uh, workflows. And um, the two main things uh, that we want to work on is basically allow an administrator to restrict uh, users from publishing a component to the catalog. And the second thing is, um, sorry. Um, is it the same link? Yeah, it's the same link. So we need to change it. But the second one is, um, allow administrator to block, uh, um, to restrict user from publishing components. So one, one issue is about restricting third party component. So users won't be able to do an include of something that is outside the organization. The second one is to restrict users from publishing a component. And, and the engineers have asked to do first a spike issue because we are going to work on, on policies first. And this is going to be a multi milestone effort. So it's going to take like more than a, a single milestone to, milestone to introduce an MVC. By the way, all of those that I just mentioned uh, are going to be like an ultimate uh, tier because we know that you know, security and compliance are the main driver for, uh, for ultimate uh, features. So with this, we are going to also beef up and improve our ultimate offering and hopefully addressing some of the pain points that I'm hearing from the field is that we have like users that are using ultimate features and they're actually not leveraging those features. So we know that all those features are high requested by our customers. So this is on features and capabilities. We have some engineering time that we are allocating on migrating uh, uh, some of the uh, um, some of the features that we have to graph QL uh, around mainly around the pipeline mini graph, um, and then we have a, an error budget improvement. We know that our error budget is is red, and we want to make sure we bring it to uh, to a healthy state. So we prioritize uh, one issue for that. We have several issues, but we'll prioritize one we'll see what will be the effect and then we'll prioritize the other one. And lastly, uh, we have uh, some vulnerability issues. So we picked up one vulnerability issues that we want to include in this uh, milestone. We try to keep this milestone as, as minimal as possible. 
given the fact that we don't have a lot of uh, engineers and uh, we lost uh, some uh, capabilities. And also we're taking into consideration that uh, this is summertime and there are going to be a lot of engineers that will be on PTO. Uh, with that, I'm going to hand it over to Sanjun. Sanjun is going to talk about the scope of work for UX. Thank you, Dov. Let me reshare my screen again. Um, so these are the scope of the work for the UX in 17.4. As you can see, I have slightly more items below this table. So that means we have one program, one pilot program is planned that is called UI Bog Bash. So I'm I like to get everyone involved asynchronously mostly, and then trying to find any inconsistency in the UI behavior or cross pipeline authoring teams area. And then the expected outcome would be perhaps a list of issues that uh, the label with like UI polish or usability improvements. So that's the goal of this program. And then if you are interested in participating even outside of the pipeline authoring team, you're, you're welcome to join, just please don't hesitate to reach out to me. And there are another UX pilot program going on. Um, Vitika is taking the lead of this initiative. So we want to find a couple of usability improvement ideas during like one week as a pilot. And then like designers will work on those improvement and then cross review for each designer's item. And then we want to contribute, like make our platform product like more usable. So I will also join this program partially. And then you can check out the details by clicking this issue, or you can also go through the discussion in the Slack thread. And coming back to the usual backlog that I have. Um, so as Dov mentioned, I'm going to also aligning with the security workflows that is being actively discussed and work in the backend engineering teams. So I like to work on the user flow and then also try to think already ahead for what is the future iteration? How does this impact to the user interface and the future iteration? So I will try to prep for that work. And another item would be adding a license file to the CSD catalogs, which is our requirement from the legal and compliance team. So yeah, this will include some design change in the details page. And the other two items are coming from the recent UX scorecard work. And what is interesting about is like, this came up from the user interview and observation. And I would like to further consider like how using this copy and paste of this include snippet could be more dynamic. Like now we have description column here and we also show the type default value. Like we kind of show a lot of information, but like we could perhaps make this experience a little bit better and making a reduced number of clicks when they're copy and paste this inputs to their CIAMO file. So that's this issue and that's basically it. Like quite a lot of issue item, but <laughs> we can further discuss the detail if I need any help from the team members. Like there will be two design discussions think in this milestone. Dove, do you want to add anything else? No, thanks. Yes, it seems like we have a lot of work ahead of us. And so <laughs> As always. Super, yeah, super excited about that. And uh, yeah, hopefully everyone finds this uh, recording, whoever watched it, find the recording useful. Uh, and thank you for watching. Thank you.